the 99 names of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Dear gentlemen, intellectuals, esteemed teachers, learned judges, and my ever sweet classmates, Assalamu Alaikum. Isn't it extremely cold today? Do you remember the days when the weather used to be moderate, both in summer and winter? I ask you this question to address the topic of climate changes and their effects. Gandagi ka ek bada tufan hai. Gandagi ka ek bada tufan hai. Ham to is fuzle ke hato ma chale. Esteemed teachers, the reason I stand before you is to shed light on a grave issue that is affecting not only our beloved country Pakistan, but the entire globe. Like many other countries, Pakistan is also facing the consequences of global warming and environmental filth. It is crucial for us to understand the gravity of this issue and take immediate action before it's too late. For better understanding, let me first define the term climate and climate change. Climate is the weather condition existing in an area at present and tends to occur over a period of time. Climate, chi uh, climate change is defined by Encyclopedia Britannica as the periodic modif modification of Earth's climate brought about as a result of changes of changes in atmosphere as well as interaction between the atmosphere and various other geological, chemical, biological and geographic factors within the Earth system. Dear brother, the changes in climate have amplified the Earth temperature, temperature dramatically. These changes cause floods, intense rains, as well as frequent and severe heat waves. The extreme heat has rendered some segments of the population, such as heart, asthma patients, the elderly and vulnerable. Your Honor, another major consequence of climate change is the loss of biodiversity. Pakistan's unique ecosystem, including forests, wetlands, and coastal areas are facing deterioration owing to climate change. This disrupts, this disrupts not only wildlife habitat, but also jeopardizes the livelihoods of communities dependent on these natural resources. Dear all, I urge you to please monitor your action and guide others to ensure better control of the climate change. We take climate change as a natural phenomenon, but it is not such, as declared by Iqbal. افراد کے ہاتھوں میں ہے اقوام کی تقدیر افراد کے ہاتھوں میں ہے اقوام کی تقدیر اور فرد ہے ملت کے مقدر کا ستارہ The main made activities affect the natural affinity in the most crucial way We need to control our activities and do not let uh, and do not let the climate to worsen Internationally the atomic experiment and coal bombardments by the Western countries also pose major threat to a stable climate. Hiroshima and Nagasaki are still barren. Throat shocking cluster bombs dropped on Afghanistan, Palestine, Ukraine, and other deserted war regions are the most suffered from climate change. It is enough to prove that this civilized world needs to be educated first before others. But who will build the cat? The environment the international protection. The, in the International Pact for Environmental Protection Bill still awaits America's signatures. Pakistan has very little role in corrupting the climate but pays a heavy price. Tandurusti ka hai dushman ka bile lahol hai. Tandurusti ka hai dushman ka bile lahol hai. Tum se aluda mere is dunya ka mahol hai. Look at the picture. This is the condition of Hiroshima and Nagasaki which are still barren. Nothing can grow on this land. Who is responsible for this? Everybody knows. And this is Afghanistan, where America dropped cluster bombs and turned this green land into a desert. And this is Gaza, where Israel dropped its burning fire cluster bombs, resulting not only human loss, but also turned the earth into ashes, thus corrupted the climate. Were the educators, public awareness campaigns and communities engagements are instrumental in motivating individuals to take environment-friendly friend, environment actions by promoting energy conservation, waste management, and tree plantation initiatives. We can make a positive impact at the grassroots level. In conclusion, climate change poses a tremendous threat to Pakistan's socio-economic development, agriculture, public health, and biodiversity. It is imperative for us 
to acknowledge the urgency of this issue to address. Keep one thing in mind and be clear about it. The time to act is now. Allah waris.